Now, I am going to teach you what is a determinant. How will you find the determinant when it is used? This determinant is used to find out the inverse of a matrix and also to find eigenvalues, eigenvectors and then diagonalization of a matrix for all these we will be using it. Now, the determinants, if suppose this is the given matrix, let A be the given matrix. Now, the determinant of A which is equals to how will you find out first you will take the first element that is 2 into leave the corresponding row and the column what is left out 1 2 0 1 from this you will cross multiply it 1 minus 2 into 0 0 next one minus into minus will give you plus plus 2 into as I told you earlier, to find the determinants, you need to take the alternative signs plus minus, plus minus, so on. Now, 2 into again, you will leave the corresponding column on the row. What is left out? 0, 2, 1, 1. So, 0 minus 2. Again, for the last value, plus 1 into you will leave the row and the column 0 minus 1 which is equals to 2 minus 4 minus 1 which is 2 minus 5 which is equals to minus 3. Therefore, the determinant of A is equals to minus 3. So, to find the inverse of the matrix this determinant is very very useful. Next. I am going to teach you the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of the given matrix A. Now, eigenvalues. And eigenvectors. To find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors, the first step we need to find the characteristic equation. What do you mean by the characteristic equation? Determinant of a minus lambda i equal to 0 that is expanding the determinant of a minus lambda i and equating to 0 which will give you the characteristic equation. Characteristic equation. So, to find the eigenvalues, the first step we need to find the determinant of A minus lambda i. What is A? A is the given matrix. A will be the given matrix and lambda will be the scalar and i will be the unit matrix. So, the unit matrix accordingly you will take. If it is a 2 by 2 matrix, then you will take it as 1, 0, 0, 1. If it is a 3 by 3 matrix, then you will take the unit matrix as 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. This is what the eigenvalues. What do you mean by the word eigenvector? The vectors x1, x2, so on. The vectors x1, x2, so on, satisfying the characteristic equation a minus lambda i into x bar will give you the eigenvectors. Now, I am going to show you through examples also. First, let me, let me write the proper characteristic equation formula that is let a be the given matrix. Let A be the given matrix and lambda be a scalar and I be the unit matrix. Then the characteristic equation Then the characteristic equation of 
of A is determinant of A minus lambda i equal to 0. This is the formula to find the characteristic equation. Okay, the characteristic equation can also be found out. The characteristic equation can also be found out by using the formula by using the formula lambda q minus s1 lambda square plus s2 lambda minus s3 equal to 0. Let me tell you what is s1, s2, s3. First, where s1 is equals to sum of the diagonal elements. s1 is equals to sum of the diagonal elements. And s2 is equals to sum of the minors of the diagonal elements that is for each element each minor of the given element in the matrix we need to find out the sum sum of the minors of the diagonal elements and s3 is the determinant of a so as i told you in the previous one what is determinant we need to find s3 as the determinant of a this is how you will find the characteristic equation. Definitely while doing it by determinant of a minus lambda i equal to 0, the students will make mistake. So don't go for this. Whenever it is a 2 by 2 matrix, you can go by the method of determinant of a minus lambda i equal to 0. If it is a 3 by 3 matrix, this is the simple and easy way to find out the characteristic equation. This is very very simple that is where S1 is the sum of the diagonal elements. Whatever the elements they have given it in the matrix, you will pick only the diagonal elements, you will add it. And S2 will be the sum of the minors of the diagonal element. For each diagonal element, you need to find the minors and finally add it up. And S3 will be the determinant of A. So, if you go by step by step, then the characteristic equation will be easy to find out. Now, for to find the eigenvalues, the important thing is to find the characteristic equation. You Once you find the characteristic equation, you check it once or twice. Only if the characteristic equation is correct, then the whole problem will be correct. Or else once if you go wrong with even any of the signs or any of the values, then the whole problem will become wrong. So, always while finding out the characteristic equation, go by using the formula. Next, eigenvalues. Eigenvalues. The roots of the characteristic equation the roots of the characteristic equation are called eigenvalues or characteristic roots. Eigenvalues or characteristic roots. See, when you find the characteristic equation after finding it out, if it is a 3 by 3 matrix, then you have to find the roots of the characteristic equation by synthetic division. If it is a 2 by 2 matrix, then after finding out the characteristic equation, you can straight away factorize it and get the roots. Okay? So, now this is what the eigenvalues and eigenvectors are. Now, the next one is eigenvectors. 
the vector the vector x bar is equals to x1 x2 so on xn satisfying the equation satisfying the equation determinant of a minus lambda i or a minus lambda i into x bar is equals to 0 is called eigenvectors. So, what do you mean by the word eigenvectors? The vector x bar is equals to x1, x2, so on, xn should satisfy the equation a minus lambda i into x bar equals to 0. Then only we call this as eigenvectors. Now, suppose for example, if they are giving 3 by 3 matrix. So, after finding out the characteristic equation, you need to find the roots by you applying synthetic division. Once you get the roots, you will be getting 3 roots for 3 by 3 matrix because the highest degree of the characteristic equation, those roots you will be getting it. So, for each root, you need to find the eigenvectors. This is what we call it as eigenvectors. So, for each eigenvalue, you need to find the corresponding eigenvectors. Now, what is the working rule to find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors? First thing you will find the characteristic equation depends upon the given matrix whether 2 by 2 or 3 by 3 matrix and then using the characteristic equation you will find the roots that is called eigenvalues or characteristic roots and finally you will find out the eigenvectors.